Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to how to turn your bundles into clip-ins. I was gifted these bundles by Indique Hair. This is from their C collection and it's called Sumatra Wave and I got it in the length 20. They gave me three bundles and I absolutely love them, you guys. Here are some things to complete these clip-ins. You'll first need some scissors, some clip-ins, which you can find from your local beauty store, and then you'll need thread, and then you'll need needles. Now let's get into it. So you're gonna go ahead, take your needle, and then you're gonna take your thread. The purpose of taking the needle and the thread, you want to use the thread, you want to go ahead and put the thread into the tiny little hole. Once you weave that in there, you're gonna pull the thread so that it can connect to the other end. And you take the scissors, you cut that off, and your, your end should look like so. I am so sorry for my nails, guys. Please disregard it. Just make sure you tie it into a knot twice. I just do that for security, just to make sure, you know, none of my lefts come out of the tracks. Once you do that twice, you, then you're going to take your bundle that you have and cut the elastic band. Well, some have elastic bands and some have different things, but you cut it off and make sure to be careful not to cut any hair. So once you have your bundle completely unwrapped, you are going to leave the wefts doubled in half, just like this. And the reason behind that is because, so that when you create your clipping extensions, it's going to look and be a lot fuller than just one track. And then you're gonna go ahead and take the two loose ends of the weft and penetrate the needle through the weft so that you can go ahead and get the thread through it. And then you're gonna go ahead at the end, you're gonna go ahead and loop it like so. And then you're only gonna do it one time in the wefts and then after that you're gonna go around it because what you don't want to happen is you don't want to keep going through the wefts that causes sh lots and lots of shedding so we don't want that pull it really tight so that it is secured we don't want no tracks falling on our head around here and then you go around the track and what you're gonna do is before you even pull the needle out the other side, you go ahead and grab the end that's closest to the hole, wrap it around the needle and pull. And that's the method that you're going to do all the way until you get to the other end of the wefts. So I wanted to explain a part where let's say you run out of thread. What you will do is you'll basically do the exact same method, pull through, wrap around, then you'll get the scissors and cut that end off. And then you'll go ahead and tie it into a knot twice. Cut that off and now we are at the end of the tracks, okay? And so what you'll do is You'll take your needle and you'll go penetrate through the wefts the same way that we did in the beginning of our tracks is the same thing you're going to do at the very end to make sure you secure it, okay? Yay, so now we are halfway done. We've gotten through one track. Remind you, we have three bundles to do, so I'll just continue to repeat that off camera. However, now it's time to do some measurements. Sometimes some people put it on the back of their head to fill it. I use an old clipping track that I had, and all I did was put it against the bundle and then to measure it, because I tend to like all my measurements when it came to buying pre-made clip-ins. So that's all I did. But then now for the clip-ins, you want to make sure you open them all up like so. 
if you don't do that, you're going to mess it up. Up. this is so 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 important guys now that we gotten them all open before we sew in our tracks I want to share something with y'all because I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes that I did of course you're gonna go ahead and pair the end of the clip in to your track but one of the mistakes that I made was my needle was not small it was too thick so as you can see this is a new day of me filming this so I ended up having to go to the hair store to go and get a needle that was a smaller size. So keep that in mind, y'all. So now we're gonna take our clip and then make sure that your comb is facing on the outside. So you wanna make sure that it is completely open. You place the clip in onto the end of the track. Once you've placed your clip in on the weft, you go ahead and take the needle. And what we'll be doing is we'll be going through the into that first top left hole okay because what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and penetrate that needle into the wefts when you sew through you're going to go through both wefts so that so before we did that not get to the end we want to just go inside so we can make sure that it is cured without having to tie another knot so once you get the thread on the weft you can go right back through the weft again at the end that is the only time we're going to go through the wefts in the beginning in the end and the reason is that you want to prevent going through the weft so many times Now that we've gone through that hole, we don't wanna just end it and go through the hole all the way at the end. We wanna go through the comb teeth and around the weft this time. And then at the end, you'll go into that hole to the right. We'll repeat the same step we did in the beginning where you will go through the top. At that point, now you're at the top right because initially you was at the top left of the hole and penetrate into the weft and then repeat the same steps, of course. And there you have it, a full set of clip-ins. You completed it, y'all. Let me know how y'all do and let me know if you do it. And if you want to see me installing it, stay tuned for the next video because I got that coming for you. If you've enjoyed this video and want more, let me know what more you want. I am a clip-ins girly. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification so that whenever I do post a video, you are the very first to see it. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.